Support for Living on Earth comes from listeners like you. Please make a gift online at LOE.org or call 800-893-3377 right now. And thanks. Well, from an egg beater turbine in your backyard to a windmill in your pocket. Maybe your kitchen's like mine. On the counter is a tangle of wires plugged into my digital devices. My cell phones, MP3 players, PDAs, cameras, you know, the usual. And per usual, I often forget to plug them in. So when I need them most, they're dead as digital doornails. But now there's a device that promises to keep you charged in an environmentally sustainable way. It's a windmill and solar collector that fits in your pocket. It's called the High Mini, and the gadget is the brainchild of Arthur Wong. Arthur, thanks for stopping by Living on Earth. Thank you. So we've got the uh, High Mini spread out on this desk. Let's go through it. How does it work? It's basically a miniaturized uh, hybrid system. It allows you to use different type of green power um, to charge the device. The power bank itself uh, actually has a built-in wind uh, power generator. It also has additional input outlet allow you to plug in the solar panels, and you can string them into an array and increase the capacity. So I've got a solar panel that I can plug into this windmill device, exactly. and inside that is a battery I can charge. Yes, and you can store the power. Uh, I'll put it with USB and to all your other devices. Now, how much wind or how long do I have to charge this in order to charge my MP3 player? For example, a 20 minutes wind charge will probably give you around like 30 minutes worth of uh, MP3 playtime. Uh, if you include it in your daily routine, for example, you're biking to work, then you lay out your solar panels uh, on your desk while you're next to the window, you actually get quite a lot of um, green energy input into the system. What's this thing here? This is a hand crank generator, which it's able to plug into high mini, and then uh, you are able to turn it, and then using your sheer hand power, yeah. So how long do I have to crank this before I get a charge for my cell phone? Surprisingly, the hand crank, actually you're turning on the wrong direction. Oh. Pretty much one minute of turning is one minute of talk time. You know, what this has given me is a greater appreciation of just what does come out of the wall and how much energy it takes to get that power to my wall. Yeah, definitely. The majority of the carbon emission is generated by us generating energy. And so this is what this device is all about. It's about an attitude. How did you come up with this? The original idea was actually conceived when I was really frustrated as a real estate developer. My original training is an architect. People always ask for green, uh, but they really don't understand it. They really look at green as a label that they just stick onto a building. And now I think maybe it's, it's time to think of something much smaller. Now, what is this thing? It's kind of heavy, too. What is this? I don't have to carry this, do I? Yeah, um, that's actually a bicycle wheel. Uh, it's like a bike hub, um, which is actually generating electricity while a bicycle is moving. So that also plugs into high mini, and it also charges the internal battery. I basically am turning myself into a power generating source. That's exactly what we're trying to do. You're not just a power generating source. You are also a virus, for example, to contaminate others that you can be actively generating electricity on your daily routine. You know, you've, you can be walking around with your high mini. You, know, you can have your windmill and your solar collector and you could have your armband and you'd be making a fashion statement. You should have a, a fashion show. Uh, we're soon going to have a blog that's on our website and we're going to have dog fashion show. And we're going to have dog harness with high mini fasten on top of it. So you could walk your dog and charge your cell phone at the exactly. same time? Exactly. Let them run in the park, and then they're actually charging electricity. Arthur Wong is the CEO of MiniWiz, which makes the high mini. Arthur, thank you very much for coming in. Thank you very much, Bruce. You can hear our program anytime on our website or get a download for your MP3 player. The address is LOE.org. That's LOE.org. And you can reach us at comments at LOE.org. Once again, comments at LOE.org. Our postal address is 20 Holland Street, Somerville, Massachusetts, 02144. And you can call our listener line at 800-218-9988. That's 800-218-9988.
Just ahead, searching for seeds of the Ice Age in the bottom of ancient lakes. You can get 100,000 pollen grains in a cubic centimetre of lake mud. It's a time machine. I, I go around calling it my time machine. Have time machine, we'll travel. And <laughs> that's my, my motto. 40 years of traveling back in time. Keep listening to Living on Earth. Support for the Environmental Health Desk at Living on Earth comes from the Cedar Tree Foundation. Support also comes from the Richard and Rhoda Goldman Fund for coverage of population and the environment. This is Living on Earth on PRI, Public Radio International.